Good day, everybody. It's your boy, John Hester here, and I'm at Hester's Motorsports with another badass custom build that they did here. So this is a custom T-Rex. This is part four, um, sorry, part five, the finish. Sorry, part four was almost done, <laughs> uh, as far as that goes on there. So this is the T-Rex, a.k.a. Invictus. Uh, Invictus chosen by the owner's name of this particular build. So we're all done completed finally um even got a few little dirt splatters on there because you know the rows are wet because we had snow this last week and try to avoid them as much as possible but it's hard to whenever it crosses the whole road so <laughs> so there's a little bit of splatters and stuff that we need to just wipe off but wanted to get this thing done um while we had some a nice sunny day it's well it's partly cloudy but we got sun right now so let's get through this um this is a, a custom t-rex that's going to arizona and first and foremost i know one of the most popular questions when we do a sick build like this is how much is it well um a little over 40 grams so retail now at different times of the year different things that manufacturers are doing we're doing whatever like that so this customer got one smoking deal because Kawasaki has some good rebates and we have our 45th anniversary. So he got a total in discounts of about five grand or so, uh, which was about what all the labor was. So it's like we built it for free. You know, he bought, he bought the T-Rex, bought the parts, and then we did all the work for free every, every little bit. So uh, really smoking deal on, on this. So. Um, but yeah, a retail price is a little over 40 grand, about 41 grand is what this would cost to build. Now, that's from us. There's parts on here that he sent us um, himself. So he had the uh, Hindenburg Customs did the cage. So he bought that and sent it to us. And I think the cage is somewhere around with shipping and everything, 28 to 3 2800 to three grand so you got to figure that into the into that and then he sent us the gnome sound system uh the five speaker gnome sound system which i i'm sorry I, i've never sold one of these so i don't know what they cost right off hand i didn't look it up or anything like that so um he sent us that and then he sent us the uh very nice chupacabra mirrors um on here like i said got a little little bit of dirt splatters but come on it's an off-road vehicle and it ain't going to be brand spanking new forever. So we got to, you know, um, whenever we build a machine, we always do shakedowns. We drive it. We make sure everything is good. Everything is operational. Everything's working as intended. So that way when the customer gets it, there's no issues, no problems. Um, in this particular build, as you can tell, I mean, we're sitting nice and fat because we've got our MT long travel system on this. We call it an MT because most everybody else is a mid-travel. Ours is a long travel. It's a mid-travel width long travel. So, like as an example, an HCR long travel, you're 72 to 74 inches. This right now is sitting at about just under 69 inches. It's 68 and three quarter, I think it was. 68 and three quarter. So we're just gonna call it 69 inches wide. Um, so it's not as wide as an HCR, but we decimate in, in travel. So we got quite a bit more travel, quite a bit more performance out of it, uh, and especially because of the Hester Edition Elka suspension that we do, and which is exclusive from us. I design them, I do all the testing, I do everything, I change everything, I, I make sure that sucker is the absolute best and as sweet as it can be. And so, if you're on Facebook, check out the owner's page, Hester Edition Elka Suspension Owners. I have a link down below. And this particular one, like I said, is the MT Long Travel. I've got videos on this showing how much it flexes and everything like that. And it's pretty awesome. I put it right next to a KRX and basically we turn an 800 T-Rex into a, a KRX 800, so to speak. Um, it's pretty wicked. I mean, the difference in handling, performance, the ride quality is just ungodly smooth and plush and we have so much suspension travel so that's why 
you know, I've lightened up in the valving and everything and all that stuff. So that way it's just absolutely amazing. But performance, what I say by performance is at speed. What the sucker can do at speed is absolutely incredible um, with our exclusive two-stage two valving that we do and this is on all five state uh, all five stages where elka usually does a two-stage and stage five shocks um, we do a two-stage now granted as the different stages progress you could like these are stage threes you could only access the low speed compression so i can make it stiffer or softer at the low rate of speeds so like driving in you know a lot of desert situation on roads this is going to be all over on asphalt and everything so that's why we have a dot tire on here um you know to pretty much cover that so i mean if he wants less body roll he can just go click 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 and less body roll if he wants more plushness click 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 pressure all that stuff as far as that goes um now of course we have 32s on the stock wheels these are the stock t-rex wheels that come on the t-rex sle's so it's the 14 inch aluminum wheel from kawasaki with 32s on here these are an efx moto claw one of my absolute favorite tires you got a really nice um setup but it's a dot tire so you have an eight ply radial dot tire rides nice handles nice but you have really good side bite really good in the rocks good rock crawling tire trail tire pretty much everything tire that's an everything tire except yeah you know, I'm, I'm it's not a mud bogging tire i mean if you're in water up to your rear end or more i mean you're going to be building a machine that's specific for that type of use you know this is trophy truck basically you know <laughs> uh on here now we also have a super atv 4500 pound black ops winch we mounted it down low which normally we would mount up here mounted it down low because the customer wanted a light bar in the middle right there so that's a 12 inch dual row combination flood and focus uh led light bar it's on its own switch we have the Ryko turn signal kit so you can see the turn signals right here in the bodywork which is nice because we keep it out of out of this so if you ever need to take this off you don't have to <laughs> deal with all that wiring it's all permanent based and all this can come off and everything uh we have halos on the on the lights these are from rhino lights so we have quad halos on the headlights it has rock lights on each one and then the four foot whoops on whips on top uh with the breakaway spring so if you hit something the springs you know will flex and take care of that um i've got videos on our youtube channel check out our youtube channel here it shows a great amount of lots of information lots of custom builds lots of different accessories so we really show a lot of stuff on vehicles so you know exactly what what you're getting and i have a really good video on the rhino lights it shows all that highlights all that plus if you watch the other parts to this build um i show all of that as well so there's a total of five parts of this build this is part five the finished product and then uh, also on the Chupacabra mirrors, we did a uh, flood uh, mini pod light on there. So it's facing at a slight angle, so it lights up the sides and everything. So you have quad LEDs from the factory. So you got four LED headlights with high beam and low beam. You got the LED light bar there and the pods on the side. So, I mean, it, it's plenty bright. It's really, really bright, L lights everything up in front of you. Now, in the original setup we were doing a flip up windshield but the cage is much too short to be able to do that so he's actually going to be getting a half windshield uh and going going that route because this is much much shorter than a almost four inches shorter than a factory cage um and like six inches shorter in the rear compared to a factory cage so as an idea this thing has 16 inches of ground clearance with our in, our long travel setup with 32 16 inches underneath that which you know that's an inch and a half more than a brand new krx sitting on the showroom floor before the, the spring sag but 16 inches of ground clearance 
and this is the cool thing to the top of this spring once I take this off once I disconnect the whip and to the top of the spring is just under 84 inches now if it's going into a seven foot toy hauler I mean what I would do is I would just unbolt the spring you know to, to load it up into the toy hauler and everything like that so there you go we have the upper door extensions and of course knowing that we had a custom cage we had it done without the cutouts for the stock OEM seat belts that usually would be right here so it's full and complete looks very nice and clean better than factory this is the Ryko turn signal kit here which is very awesome now we also have some stuff from uh, T-Rex off-road in this machine so let me get this here so we got I had a custom keychain and black and red made for them as well as our epic ones you know and then we have a custom two-tone shift handle from T-Rex off-road and we have the phone holders we have one on each side and in the back for the for the kiddos to put their phone so you can see right there we have four phone holders on it we did harnesses front and rear so we got PRP harnesses up front here we did the pass through so we cut the seats and we do all of this and, and did the pass throughs through it and then we have the UTV MA 52 inch bench seat uh, in two tones so we have the silver and black seat to, to go with the silver and black factory seats uh, three passengers so this is a five seat T-Rex it's a T-Rex 5 uh, on here so got all that and of course while we had this thing totally apart doing every single thing uh, we did full sound deadening and heat shielding on the entire from the dash all the way to the bed is all sound deadened and heat shielded so the interior is going to be quieter and zero heat from inside the sink so we have the the exhaust header uh, headers wrapped from the cylinder head all the way to the muffler and if you watch our build videos the as this machine is coming together you can see a, a lot of that we've got a lot of information on this in the entire process of of it being built and then the dual battery it's down in here and of course I show all of that in the electrical video once we have the electrical complete and all of that so I'm gonna just set that up here and we have you know since we don't have the factory seat belt we have a bypass for the harness and everything so that way the seat belt light never comes on and all that stuff so don't have to worry about having the seat belt on because we got harnesses instead on here and um, now the the gnome system I was thinking on doing a completely separate video because I've never done one of these and I wanted to do a video kind of showing it and everything um, but so here's the head unit that fits into the factory location on the dash which is pretty nice and it has a uh, switch to turn on and off right there to allow power and then you got everything it's all Bluetooth and it's got four wake tower speakers and we sat in it and we played with the setup and this was the best sounding and the best setup for the most headroom and visibility so instead of having this pointed right at the back of your head we actually have this one crisscrossing so it's more of a surround sound so that one over there is bouncing up off the roof so whenever you turn your head I mean it's just it it really encompasses the sound so much better um, does the subwoofer have bass absolutely not it doesn't it has a bass tone but it doesn't really it's nothing to, to blow your skirt up it sounds okay uh, I, I wish I could vid, you know edit videos I, I'm working on it I, I'm I run two businesses a suspension business and a dealership and I don't have a lot of time so a lot of these things I mean these are raw uncut videos and from start to finish I don't really do any type of editing unless I completely screw up on something that I might just, you know, trim out a piece of the video. But um, I really want to do that, you know, uh, one of those things, you know, I mean, it's all right, you know, but it's all right. 
if if a 10 is you know rocking sound system with subwoofers and tons of power and just booming and shaking the floorboards on this thing this is probably about a four on that level it's loud it is loud and it is very clear it sounds good but i'm talking as a full incumbent full surround does it have bass does it shaking and does this roof vibrate no no it doesn't do any of that so just letting you know on the gnome system i mean it's all right from a a, a sound a sound system buff point of view like my T-Rex, I, I have an audio forms level four top with subwoofers and two amplifiers, four eights, four tweeters, and that thing shakes the floorboards. And I mean, it's just, you can feel your clothes shaking. That's like, that, and that, that's, I would rate it as a, probably an 8.5. <laughs> so to, to have a 10, you got to have some subwoofers back here, you know, subwoofers up there and just, just more stuff, you know, overkill, something overkill. But I mean, I've, you know, when I was younger, I had competition sound systems and stuff like that. So uh, I got really into stereo systems. But anyways, I digress. The cage, uh, I got to say, uh, Hindenburg Customs did an amazing job. I really like the cage. It is very well built. Very nice. Uh, plenty of reinforcement. I love how it comes down on the back. It looks awesome. Uh, has the bumper all tied in mounts into the frame there so i mean it got plenty of protection and all that and then they built it with the uh spare tire mount off to the side made to fit a 32 perfectly and still room over here to put a cooler and throw some more gear underneath there so uh hindenburg customs um i give you a thumbs up on the cage i think you did a wonderful job on the cage um as far as that goes there if I was to critique the cage in any way, in any way, I would say if the they did the headliner material up here, which is actually kind of a deadener, all in black, line this entire thing, it, it wouldn't have that that kind of metallic to it. You know what I mean? It would completely absorb that. So. Um, that like i said you know awesome cage don't get me wrong very amazing cage i'm just stating that if this was my cage that's what i would do is i'd do the headliner material uh on there which is um about a 16th of an inch thick and it would completely deaden all the metallic sound coming from there as well as give you that um you know get rid of the metal on metal type sound to it um but that th this keep in mind this is every custom cage with a top like this is like that um i will give huge props out i do like the quick the quick connects here so you basically just take this allen screw that's up top here and it's literally like quarter turn bam and the sucker comes right off so you could remove this top the entire top and probably under 60 seconds if you really wanted to so I, I i like that they did a very nice job on that very clean really awesome setup good job guys good job now of course since this is an s model we had to modify the frame in the back here in order to we had to relocate the upper rear shock mount into the location where a standard t-rex a non-s would be because the s model the a arms are back and this shock mount is back here quite a bit more so we relo relocate it re -weld, you know cut it clean it re-weld it you know amazing job on the welding and everything that chris did and we actually welded even more because normally they'll just they'll just throw a bead there bead on top and bead on the other side we did both sides inside and out uh and and top all the way around all the way down the bottom so um ours is more better than factory <laughs> more better now we have reverse lights so when you actually put it in reverse these will light up light up everything behind you and uh really bright uh, uh flood and focus so it casts way out it's really awesome we have the trinity stage 5 dual exhaust on there 
uh, which is pretty awesome. And I do have a sound clip. There's a uh, short video that has that sound clip on there. Now, of course, I know what you're already thinking. You know, like I said, I do have a sound clip on that, but let's let's just go ahead and fire up there because you know you want to hear it. Uh, that Trinity Stage 5 dual exhaust, it's a true equal length dual exhaust for this T-Rex engine. Um, pretty awesome, I love the sound of it. <laughs> kind of hear the metal but it's not that bad if i had some more time i mean they're coming for this tomorrow the shipping company's coming for this tomorrow um that's something i would have i would have definitely done but we didn't know until it was done down out and ready for ready to pick up basically so um got all that and uh, uh but anyways um about the oh yeah the other thing on the cage is uh these bars here are a bit in they should come out just a little bit so i mean it is flat up against it and it's kind of pushing on the body work here a little bit and that is this is way too thick it's 120 dom there's no way that we could physically bend this thing out without damaging that powder coat or anything like that so didn't want to do that it fits it's fine there's nothing abnormal, but it is kind of deforming the bodywork just a little bit on there. But um, so other than that, I mean, everything fit fit good. Um, once we got it on, I mean, we did have to kind of tweak a little bit on, I think, on the C-pillar on the passenger side here just to get the bolts to line up right. So we had to kind of, you know, get everything set. But, I mean, it was like a 99% perfect fit you know uh, on on it so very nice cage on there uh, I'd, I'd highly recommend them you know anybody looking for a custom cage for your T-Rex definitely highly recommend them uh, okay let's see here oh yeah we have a fuse block in here so we got our fuse block we have the uni air filter in here as well um, our fuse block basically awesome distribution thing so we have everything all set up and distributes everything and of course like i said we have the dual battery that's all isolated so that way you could you know you could run the whips you could run the sound system and everything and it's not drawing power off of that battery up there so really really nice on on that there so you know allows you to yeah, just do more <laughs> do more with it so um since this is more of a desert type you know road type machine you know not rock bashing or anything so there's you know standard stock skid plates which are which are more than adequate on this machine to be perfectly honest unless you're rock bashing uh you know on some hardcore trails and stuff like that um that's about the only time that you really need it uh also on the uh since we have a much longer a-arm on here we do have the uh, frame stiffener on here to help uh, just because there's a lot more stress involved on this frame so we got the, uh, the frame stiffener on here to help um, you know just reinforce all the frame tabs and everything like that but awesome build I mean awesome awesome machine here very very awesome I hope you all like it trying to go through this smoothly but you know in detail i like to do detail and really show the details of it and show the entire machine and like i said it's see the the t-rex um a lot of people are like oh the it looks so raked like it's so much higher in the back which is false it is 16 inches right there behind right at the lower part of the a-arms right at this right at the frame and it's 16 inches back here what you're seeing is a raked side tubing so you could see how that frame is straight all the way across and then 
this section is cut up right here. The reason for that, Kawasaki did that, is to increase brake over angle. You come up over a hill or over a rock and you, you set right here on the frame, it's more likely to slide forward as, as it slides down the rock to get back to the rear tire. So you're not looking at this. And of course the stockage is very raked too. I mean, it, it, it rakes up, it gives you a tremendous amount of height above the passengers. And it gives it that really low front end look. Now on the S, it is low in the front. It sits much lower in the front. The stock Fox suspension is too soft in the front, too stiff in the rear, and it's really stink bugging. And as soon as an X ha S has to roll off the showroom floor, I mean, you need to adjust the preload on the front just to get it level, just to get it setting right. Uh, and that, that in itself definitely improves the, the machine but the stock fox suspension is really unbalanced on these um, let me back up here a little bit yeah there we go so that way you can see the entire in there four foot whips like i said no wheel spacers this is all much longer a arm so the a arms are three inches longer per side to get us that wide And uh, we also did some custom red Hester edition instead of our, our normal green. I mean, we got them like that because, you know, Elka does all this from the factory. So I, I don't put these on. This is all because I partnered with Elka and they're made the, to my specifications and then shipped to the customers from the manufacturer. So, uh, I, you know, I partnered with Elka. So that it's, it's an awesome, awesome deal. Um, there's a lot, <laughs> a lot of different stuff that I do on, on the suspension. So, uh, but anyways, I wanted to do a, a nice uh, red and black sticker to kind of go with everything. And then we did silver springs on it to just kind of go with everything. A little Hester Edition sticker right there. I think it even looks a little bit better with the little tiny splatters all over it there. <laughs> but, uh. We drive them, we run the engines um, up to temperature and then cool uh, a few times before, you know, we let the machine go. Uh, we pretty much break in the belt um, when we do a shakedown. So, I mean, this machine, it's ready to go. I mean, granted, you still have to break the machine in and then do a proper break-in service, but um, it's, it's ready to drive, so want to thank you all for watching i mean uh, right now it's a thursday before christmas here November, uh, december 2023 so if you're watching this pretty recently merry christmas hope you have a happy new year thank you all for watching so much we greatly appreciate it please hit that likes button it really helps with the the uh, face tube algorithms and uh, all that good stuff and junk and uh we really appreciate you know any subscribes we appreciate the comments we appreciate anything that you guys can do uh it really helps with the algorithms and and fighting the machine <laughs> and please tell us what you think um that's one bad mammer jammer oh yeah uh we have sorry i almost forgot uh we have uh from the ground up clutching stage three all machined and everything and then we also did uh from the ground up ecu flash to match in everything uh with the exhaust they knew the exact build they knew everything that was done with it um i mean that down i told them i said we have a uni air filter we have the trinity stage 5 dual exhaust we you know we're doing the clutching this that the tire size everything how the machine is going to be driven where it's going to be driven how what type of terrain everything and the goal is you know for this sucker to be on 32s uh to be able to cruise 55 to 60 with top speed a little bit over 60 miles an hour so that way you know driving down roads and stuff he can get up to road speeds you know 50 55 was the you know his main target roads and stuff but uh, we can go beyond that and there we go I, that's one thing i forgot was the the clutching on there 
almost forgot <laughs> almost forgot the clutching so we got that all done and uh, let me show you the dash real quick here so we set it all up we got the this is for the pod lights on the mirrors this is for the light bar this is to turn the stereo system on and then you can control it right here and then this is the rhino lights right there to turn those on sorry the the sun that december sun how it casts long shadows so thank you all for watching god bless hope everybody has a merry christmas and a happy new year and if you ever need anything for your ride we deal in all major manufacturers parts accessories uh, we do custom work service work on all major manufacturers um, service work service and repair work up to 20 years uh, on vehicles um, to help maintain your machine repair your machine and give you a really good honest fair price on in the on labor in the service department so give them a call here at hester's motorsports 575-445-3558 and they can get you taken care of uh, we like to talk with you because there's so many things so many scenarios and so many different parts that can be done to mix and match and create what you want out of your machine and we pretty much know all those scenarios because we like like that one insurance commercial you know we we know a thing or two because well we well we've seen a thing or two but we've also built a thing or two <laughs> so thank you all for watching god bless have a merry christmas